So the weather is warming up and it's time to enjoy the outdoors. Bill and Yelp KC manager Adam Schomburg check out some great patio and rooftop spots around town. And let's face it, it is not spring in Old Overland Park without Maloney's. So we're hitting the road today with Yelp Kansas City and that's Adam Schomburg right there. And we are talking rooftops and patios today. You know, it's getting warmer and there is a plethora of great spots to try around Kansas City. What are some of your favorites we're gonna go hit today? And actually first, before we get to that, what makes a good rooftop and a good patio in your opinion? That is a good question. I think just in general, having the accessibility to get to them. There used to be so few rooftop mm -hmm. patios in Kansas City. So I think it's cool that we're able to feature all these because over the past, I'd say two or three years, they're all starting to pop. So just having them, first of all, makes them great. And then second of all, adding a great view, which we'll see at a couple of the spots we go to today. And you're right, they seem to be popping up more and more uh, here. At, and if you have access to your rooftop, you know you throw a few tables up there and you, you see people there. Um, where are we going first, I guess? First, we're gonna head over to Maloney's, which is in downtown Overland Park. Okay. It's a pretty classic, kind of jack of all trades, great neighborhood bar. They've got a patio that they've invested a lot in, and I think they're gonna to continue to build on to, so it'll be fun to check that one out. All right, well, stay buckled up. Here we go. So we're at our first stop here at Maloney's in downtown Overland Park. So Adam, what first drew you to this patio here uh, in downtown OP? I think having the rooftop is just something you don't find around here a lot in Overland Park. So mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty cool to be able to come here. There's a lot of offices, there's a lot of houses. You got kind of the neighborhood effect going on. So to me, this is kind of the perfect place, especially with the Royals games on, to yeah. come out and grab a beer and watch the games. So we're up here on the rooftop deck of Maloney's. This is a really cool place, man. You got, uh, you know, good views up here. It's kind of an open air. And then this is almost the rooftop patio, but then they have the garage doors over here they can open. So if it's a really nice day, you can still get that outdoor experience, but still be covered. Yeah, I think this time of year, you kind of never know what you're gonna get. You yeah. might have perfect weather one day and then rainy the next. So you kind of got the best of both worlds, like you said. And I just think this whole neighborhood's really cool. There's so many things here that are going on. Um, you know, you got the farmer's market that's going to be open soon and it just kind of has that vibe that you want to come here, you want to hang out. So one thing I have noticed, like you said, there's about a thousand and one TVs in here. So definitely a good spot to come out and catch the Royals game here uh, for every game this season, for I'm sure. Yeah, I think so. It feels like there's a TV per foot. So, I mean, <laughs> inside or outside, this place is loaded up. Yeah, never a bad seat. Yep. All right. Well, the next spot is across state line, a place where you have several menu items at your fingertips and a great view of downtown. Welcome back to Better Kansas City. It's a food hall with eats and drinks to please just about every palate. And while you dine, you can take in a great view of downtown. For stop two, Bill and Yelp Casey's Adam Schomburg check out a rooftop at Parlor in the Crossroads. So what you just missed is Adam and I finishing up our carpool karaoke. Uh, just kidding, you didn't miss anything. But we're headed to our next spot. Where is our next patio that we are visiting, Adam? So we're heading down to Parlor, down in the crossroads. Okay. This super unique, I guess you call it a food hall, because there's all these different restaurants that are built into it, but it's got a cool rooftop space that we're gonna check out, and uh, multi-story, really, really fun spot. Okay, yeah, so we've been there before. We did something with Mother Clucker here a little while back. I was not aware that there was a rooftop patio there. Yeah, and it's another one that's got TVs on it too, so if you're into just watching games or just kind of need something to stare at while you hang out, then you've got the perfect spot. Can you give me a preview of the view? Since we're gonna be in the crossroads, we should have a really nice view of downtown, right? It's a pretty good one. Yeah, it's kind of got the panorama that you'd expect down there. It's not super high, but it's enough that you still feel like you get to take everything in on the east side of the crossroads. All right, let's go check it out. So we're outside a parlor here. Now we've been here before, like I said, checking out Mother Clucker, but this is a place that has a ton of different places inside of it to try to eat and drink, right? Yeah, I think there's seven different restaurants. There's a bar, there's again, multiple TVs. So let's right, check it let's out. Check it out, go ahead. So we're up on the patio here at uh, Parlor. This is a pretty cool spot. You got great views of all of uh, downtown up to the north, then Crown Center, the Western uh, Auto Building down to the south. Yeah, I, I love I love just kind of the panorama that you get here. You feel like you're downtown, but you're just a little bit away from it. It's still just seeing all the development down the crossroads blows my mind. Just years ago, this was none of this was here, you know? Yeah, it's so wild to me as a Kansas City and just coming over here and seeing how many things are popping up every few months. Well, good views, good food, good drinks. What else can we put in there for good? Good TVs. Good TVs. Okay. Good bars. Good bars. We got it all. We got it all here at Parlor. Well, and that rooftop is actually enclosed and can double as an event space. 
We also have one more rooftop to visit, and this is kind of an oasis right in the middle of downtown, and you can also check out a library book. Well, it's on to stop three of Bill and Yelp Casey's Adam Schomburg's rooftop and patio tour. Their final stop, you really have to check out. So we're cruising to downtown Kansas City, Missouri for our next rooftop. Um, but Adam, this one is kind of different than the other ones we've visited. Where are we going and what's different about it? Yeah, I'm excited for this one because this is definitely not what you think of when you think about going up on a rooftop this spring. Uh, yeah. We're going down to the downtown Kansas City Library. Okay. And what special, I mean, obviously you think about going to the library, oh, we're going to go get some books and read. Is that what we're doing today? No, so I'll, I'll show you when we get there, but this is one of the cooler spots, I think, to hang out downtown. And I know saying that about a library might not always make sense to everybody, but bear with me. I think you're going to love the views that we check out here, and there's just a ton of stuff that this library offers that I think a lot of other ones don't. So all we'll right. get to find all, out all about it. All right, we are headed to the library. So we're in downtown Kansas City, Missouri, and I know we're talking about rooftops and patios today, but this is one of the more iconic places at the parking garage here at the Kansas City Public Library with the uh, book mural here behind us. Uh, but this has got a great patio to it, right? Yeah, so the library is a, is a place, like we said, we probably wouldn't think that there's a, a good patio there, but there is a really cool one with all kinds of activities and stuff to do that we're going to go check out. I so. cannot wait to see the views from uh, of downtown from the patio here. I'm really excited about seeing that. Yeah, it's right in the middle of the action, so all right, let's excited. go check it out. So we're up top of the southeast corner of the uh, rooftop patio here at the downtown library. Just great views of Main Street. We just saw the streetcar go by a moment ago with the Royals wrap on it and everything. So very cool spot up here. Yeah, you gotta love being just in downtown Kansas City, but also kind of getting this little oasis that's a little bit peaceful just above every all the action and everything going on here. Like you said, the streetcar, you can just kind of hear the sights and sounds. Feels feels like you're in downtown. An oasis is kind of spot on where you have, I mean, the little garden area is planted, so you have a little grass and some greenery growing up around you. And then you can go in and get a cup of coffee from the library or get your favorite book to read. Just come out here and just kind of take a break away from everything for a little bit. Yeah, and if you're somebody like me that likes to work maybe outside the house, this is a perfect spot as yeah. the weather gets nicer. The Wi-Fi stretches out here. You've got little park benches and tables that you can sit at. It's kind of a perfect about to just come relax by yourself. Now, are you a chess man? I am a chess man. I'm, I'm ready to roll. I see a large <laughs> chess set over there. I will challenge you in the quickest game of chess ever played. You ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Wait a minute. You can't move diagonally? I thought that's all we could move. <laughs> no, you, you can only, only move the pawn diagonally when you're, when you're attacking an opponent. But your you first opening move, guy. the pawn can go, can go too forward. Okay. Well, on the third Thursday of each month, from May to September, you can enjoy a free movie screening on the library's rooftop terrace. First on the list is Mel Brooks' Spaceballs, which is showing May 17th. 